All right, Buffalo, it is time for the year two trade deadline. And I've cooked up a little trade that I think might go through. But I did want to say this before we get into the trade deadline. Uh, I was looking at our draft class here, right? And the player that's projected to go first overall is Arthur Baines, right? We have no knowledge of him to this point. Um, he looks like a decent player. When I go to click scout, there's no scouts in the region. So I want to go hire a couple scouts. We're waiting to hear back from them, and hopefully uh, they will let us know. We got Kubalik going second, who we really do like, man. Um, he's a gem, A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A, A+, plus, A-. minus. Um, he's similar style to Owen, Owen Nolan, which is great. He's NHL ready. He is ready to go once he is drafted, which is pretty cool to see. And, man, looking at his synergies... Uh, three to Heat Seeker, uh, four to Bouncer, four to Big Tipper, two to Shock and All, and two to Wheels, man. This is someone I would love to draft. Uh, he is a gem for us. Again, this guy, third overall, we know nothing about him. Uh, we're hoping to get scouted about him. Same with this guy. He's currently being scouted. Um, looking over at him, we need him to be scared. He's been scouted. Uh, we need Nyquist to be scouted. He's currently being scouted. So we're looking at our draft class. It, it it looks like it's going to be a good draft year for us. And right now, looking at our uh, looking at our looking at us in the standings right now. Uh, so we're looking at the entire league, looking at point percentage. We are third last in the league, tied with Minnesota, but they have a game in hand. Okay. So with that being said, we want to keep tanking. We want to guarantee at least a top five pick in this draft. Um, so I was cooking up a little trade off video. And honestly, this might be something to go through, okay? So I was talking about last year getting rid of Jeff Skinner. I think this is a year we're going to do it. So Jeff Skinner, and I think we are going to get rid of our captain, Kyle Ocposo, okay? So what we're going to do here is we, re we are retaining uh, uh, Skinner's contract up to 4 mil, okay? We're going to have to do it for the team we're trading to, okay? So uh, we are retaining his salary up to... 4.1 okay 4.1 mil is what we were retaining so we're going to be paying just skinner 4.1 mil for four years octozo's got a year left i'm fine with retaining half of his salary that's only 800k okay and then we are throwing in a third round pick as well that's okay it's a later pick now dallas is a team that is interested in jeff skinner okay they are 29 29 and 3 so their season could either go very well or very bad this after the trade deadline, depending on what they do. So I really like their first round pick. And then we're going to have to eat up some salary because this team is close to the salary cap. And we are going to have to take on the contract of Radic Fasca. He's got two years, 3.25. I'm fine with taking that on. And now, will this go through straight up? I'm not sure, to be honest. We're going to try it out. I think we're close to getting a deal done here, okay? And like I said, I really like Dallas's first round pick because they're either going to just make the playoffs or they are not going to make the playoffs and we're going to have a very good first round pick. Now, looking at our situation in the draft lottery, we only have one first round pick. We have a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a two sixths, and a seventh. So we're, try we're trying to unload some of our roster players, um, Ocposo and Skinner being some of them. But other than that, like looking at who else we would get rid of after that, there's no one really else, like maybe an Asplin, but he's still 26. Ross Colton won't get much. Uh, Olison we're going to keep. You know, there, there's not really much that we can trade for draft picks right now. So this team is almost ready to be competing for a Stanley Cup, I want to say. So let's see if this goes through. Jeff Skinner retained at 4.1 mil. Kyle Ocposa retained at 50%. And a third-round pick for Radic Vasca and a first-round pick from Dallas. Trade rejected. So we could live with what you're sending us, but uh, not ideal. Uh, but it's but not in this deal. Your offer is woefully insufficient. So they, when I consider value for what you're asking in return, so they're not a fan of this trade, which kind of sucks. Um, will a six round pick get it done? I doubt it. So a third and a six for Fasca and a first rejected. Your offer, your offer to us is filling needs we have, but the value just isn't where it needs to be okay so it all comes down to this first round pick being so much in trade value radic fasca as well um maybe if we retain him at 50 percent, will that help 4.8 I, I doubt it will yeah no it's not enough and i doubt a six round pick will do much so maybe this is a trade that 
Won't go through, unfortunately. Yeah, it's rejected. Uh, sucks to see. I don't really want to give up anything higher than a third. Like, I, I don't think it's worth it for a pick that might not be uh, worth getting rid of. Now, are there other teams interested in them? Detroit's interested in them. They're having a little decent year, 36-20-3. They will make the playoffs. We could get their first round pick. Maybe we just send, like, I don't know if that would even go... I don't even know if that would go through. We don't have to retain a lot of Jeff Skinner's contract here, which is actually amazing to see. We could probably cough up maybe 1.5, close to 1.6 if we really wanted to. Detroit needs to get rid of a skater. So who's someone with no trade value? Gustav Nyquist. He would be sending some, some cap back as well. So this would go through. I don't know if it would go through right away. Jeff Skinner for... Detroit's first round pick and Gustav Nyquist, who's elite exact. Um, maybe not him. I don't know. Is there someone with trade value that has very little of it? Maybe a Luff we could take. So a Luff and a first round pick for Skinner. Can we maybe get a, another pick thrown in? I doubt it. Like Maybe like a seventh? I don't think so. I, I doubt this goes through. Yeah, not rejected. Uh, maybe Jeff Skinner. For Luff in a first round pick, I don't even think this will go through. It does go through. Okay, so Jeff Skinner is off to Detroit. We get a first round pick. Now the thing is, yes, I do think Detroit's going to make the playoffs, but it's another first round pick that we can maybe use to move up in the draft lottery. Uh, so we, I believe we need to call someone up. Um, Murray, 25. We can call up Murray for sure. And I think we should be good to go. Edit NHL lines here. And pretty much everyone's just going to move up one, all right? And then we will throw in Murray. That sounds good to me. Power play, who's missing? Is it just glitched? No, someone is actually missing. Uh, I don't know. Put Darlene, I guess. And then, oh, we're still missing. No, we're not. It's just glitched. And then we'll put Darlene here as well, okay? Just for the time being. It's fine. Um... Duplicated roles on power play line two. Was Darlene already here? Where is duplicated roles? I don't see no duplicated roles, dog. Owen Power, Darlene. Game's glitched. The game is glitched. EA, it's in the game. It's still glitched. All right, you know what? We're going to do this for now. Um, head coach preferred lines for the time being. And then we'll go to the NHL. And, I mean, yeah, that looks fine to me. Peyton Krebs on that second line. Casey Middlestad on the wing. Uh, I'd rather have Krebs on the wing, if anything. What's his face-off rating? 76. Middlestad, 74. Okay, maybe maybe the coach is right. We'll just leave it like that, man. Okay, and then I think we're going to move off Poso. If we can get something for him, that'd be great. Uh, other than that, looks good there. Everything looks good here. Okay, so... Best lines in the AHL, but make sure our first round pick is playing first line minutes, which he is. Okay, cool. So that's all good there. I think Kyle Lock is another guy that uh, maybe we can get something for. Uh, his trade value really isn't there. That's the only thing, is he doesn't have that much trade value. Uh, let's see what team is interested in him, okay? Dallas is interested in him. We were going to send him off to Dallas, so we could send him off to Dallas for maybe, like, we're pushing for a fifth. I don't even think this goes through. It does go through. So Kyle Lock pulls up for a fifth round pick. I don't mind it at all. Okay, so just a little pick there. Uh, our captain is gone, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We're going to call up Bjork. He's going to play in the NHL. And really, it's just the year of, uh, of tanking here. That's why we're getting rid of these players. So Bjork gets put into there. Looking at the power play, what is uh, missing and nothing. We're good to go. Okay, so those were the trades that we wanted to make. Uh, looking at even strength here, we'll move everyone up one. And who is sitting on the bench that needs to play 21 years of age? You are 23. Um, yeah, let's give this 21-year-old a shot here. Substitute in all lines. Penalty kill. Uh, we'll throw in whoever. And then penalty kill again. Throw in that same guy there. 
and everything is looking a-okay. So those were the big moves that we wanted to make. There's really no one else on this team that we're going to be moving now, okay? So looking here, Owen Power stayed on the team, Darlene stayed on the team, Halton and stayed on the team, Thompson, Savoy, Cousins, Krebs is staying. Yeah, for the most part, everyone is young and staying on this team, all right? So Ross Colton was a guy that we picked up in free agency, He's got, a, he's got two years left with us. We could trade him away, but we need players to ice right now, okay? So I think we are done for trades, and I don't mind what we did. So we picked up a first rounder, and we picked up a fifth rounder, getting rid of Skinner and Kyle Lock Poso, okay? I don't mind it. I think it's a decent, uh, decent little move that we made, okay? So let's into the deadline. We got a game against Arizona, which we... All right, we got a scout in, which is good. And we get another scout in, which is good. Okay, cool. So scouts are in. We lose to Arizona, which is great. Now, quickly, another... Okay, so he wasn't able to make it. That's okay. We have full scouts now. With that being said, let's go view the draft class. Do we have a scout that can finally scout? Okay, so he's being scouted. Beautiful. Uh, do we have anyone to scout? We do. Uh, let's do potential in comparison. Looks good to me. Uh currently being scouted these guys are scouted all right so we look we look like we're good here currently being scouted no scouts in that region all right so we got the scouts all up to speed we should get that back soon all right so we're heading to the trade deadline um we will continue there and we are i guess a conservative seller we're kind of just done selling like we don't have much to sell. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to see who's available. And then I'm going to just kind of edit. If there's any good trades, uh, you guys will see what they are. Okay. So who's available? Anze Kopitar with a year left at 10 mil. Interesting. Sergey Bobrovsky, Fleury, Ellis, Varlamov, Pelik, William Carlson, Jacob Truba, uh, Risa Line and Pulak, Zuccarello. A lot of big names on this list, man. So I'm interested to see where people go. Uh, you guys will see. Once trades happen, we are kind of done. We're just chilling for the trade deadline. We made the moves we wanted to make before the trade deadline. We're chilling. So we got a first trade coming in. The Los Angeles Kings trade Aya Follow and Ranson in. And a third round pick to Arizona in exchange for a second, for two seconds. Wow, okay. Interesting. I follow off to Arizona. Another incoming trade. Minnesota's making one. They're getting rid of Zuccarello and a couple rookies. Going to the Rangers in exchange for Jacob Truba and a fifth round pick. So Truba playing... In Minnesota now. And, okay, interesting trade there. Th that was that was interesting. Hold on. Can we trade summary? Let me see that real quick. So, Zuccarello is going over to the Rangers in exchange for Truba. Interesting little trade there. Okay, big names being thrown around this trade deadline. We got Seattle coming in with a trade. Uh, they're trading Wenberg and a third to Philly in exchange for Rista Linen and a fourth and a fifth. Or a fourth and a sixth. Okay, a lot of the big names going out early, man. Interesting trades uh, being made here. Columbus is on the board making a trade here. They are trading a second and a third to the Islanders in exchange for Beauvillier, a fourth and a seventh. All right, Beauvillier off to Columbus, Ohio. San Jose is making a trade as well here. They're trading Oscar Limbaum and Kevin LeBanc and Matt Roy to the Flyers in exchange for Ryan Ellis, a third and a fourth. Okay, Philly... Involved in some trades. I believe that's our second. Ryan Ellis, I believe that was, is heading off to San Jose. Was it Ryan Ellis? Let me just make sure it was. Yes, he is. For Oscar Lindblom, Kevin LeBanc, and Matt Roy. Okay. I will say, so far, no trades coming out of Detroit, which could be good for us because we do have their first round pick. Nashville is now making a trade. Don't be with Detroit. They're trading Ryan Johansson. They're very good prospects, very, very good prospects to the Islanders in exchange for Cal Clutter, Pulak and Cal Clutterbuck? What? Dude, I think that's a fleece job. Oh, okay. That didn't show that. Okay. So, the Islanders have acquired Ryan Johansson, Zachary LaRue, who is a very good prospect for the Preds, in exchange for Pulak a fifth, and Cal Clutterbuck. I think the Islanders win that trade in a heartbeat. Okay, now Carolina making a trade. Nye back uh, to the to the Canadians in exchange for Edmondson and Weidman. What a trade deadline this has been. Huge trades being made. I still can't get over the Islander-Nashville trade. I think Nashville got absolutely fleeced. All right, the trade deadline has ended. Not very big. A lot of big trades, but after the, those big ones, nothing really huge. 
We got Ki okay, Kivaranta. How old are you? 27, 79 overall. Decent little player. What's his contract looking like? One year. I mean, we might as well just pick him up. Uh, he could be something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Do we? You know what? You know what? His X factors are decent. I'm gonna I'm gonna decline for now. We don't really need him. Okay, so that is that. We are going to sim the rest of the season, sim the playoffs, and see what kind of draft pick we get. Okay, so let's go to the first of the month once more. Hopefully, we lose a bunch of games here. Dylan Cousins is available to play, so we will throw him in. Right now, we oh my god, 10-4 loss to, to Toronto, but we're losing games. We love to see that. Dylan Cousins is ready to go. So pretty much, I think everyone's going to get sent down lines. And Dylan Cousins is going to come into that second center slot role. Okay, so there you go. Losing games, we're dead last in the Atlantic. Things you love to see. Let's continue the sim and continue to lose some games, all right? Let's ho hopefully that's what happens here, okay? So Vinny Hinnestros is back. Uh, so we can send someone down. Preferably someone on the two-way. Uh, we'll do Roostalainen. Oh, we can't. We'd be under the league cap. Interesting. Okay, so who came? Who just came back? Henestroza, right? Uh, let's auto-fix our roster. Let's edit the lines. Vinny Henestroza's back in. Okay, does everything else look good here? Krebs on that first line. I don't mind that. I want middle stat up there. Actually, maybe middle stat on that first line. And that looks good to me. Okay, let's continue simming. Yes, we're losing games. Oh, this is beautiful. We are on a huge losing streak. I'm actually intrigued to see how big of a losing streak we are on right now because we are just losing games, and this is amazing. Victor Olofsson is ready to go. We got to send someone down. Jeez, we might have to auto-fix our roster again. Auto-fix roster. Let's go edit these lines. Victor Olofsson is back. Peyton Krebs is there. Casey Middlestad up here. We get a minus one. Ooh, okay, maybe we'll keep him on that third. I don't know, man. Whatever. Like, honestly, it's fine. Let's just keep losing games. Like, I'm chill with this. All right, we win against Toronto somehow. That, that's interesting. All right, uh, Jacob Bryson is injured. That's one of our defensemen down. Uh, do we have anyone scratched? No, they're all forwards. Awesome, dude. All right, let's go to roster moves. Hit okay. Got to call up a defenseman. Call up Robertson. And then at the same time, am I able to send down one of these forwards? No, I'm not. Okay, so that's fine. Edit NHL lines. And we are going to put in Mr. Robertson. We'll throw him on the left side there. And Samuelson can play there. Uh, we'll go to back to edit lines here. Everyone's going to move up one. And we will send in a Davies. All right, looks good to me. Uh, we got... These lines not being right. No, it's just a glitch. I love that glitch. That's such a good gl glitch to have. Awesome. All right. Uh, Patrika's already won. Uh, we'll just do Fitzgerald. It honestly doesn't matter. And now everything is good. Okay. So continue simming here. Keep losing games. Keep losing games. Uh, Jacob Bryson is back. Back so soon. And we're not able to send on anyone. I don't get that, man. We'd be under the salary cap. So I got to do this. Auto fix roster. And now my lines are going to be all messed up again. Uh, which is awesome, dude. I love that. Uh, okay. Everything's good. Keep simming. All right. So how big of a losing streak were we on till we, till we won to Toronto? Okay. So looking at our losses here. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I gotta redo that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen game losing streak until we won against Toronto. So we gotta be dead last in the NHL if we're looking at this. Like surely, no, the Kraken are still worse than us, but we are second last. So that's that's nice to see. Let's sim out the rest of the season and see where we end up. All right, so last. Game of the year is against Boston. It's a shootout win. Let's keep losing. We're getting points in some of these losses, which I'm not a fan of, but that's okay. Let's just continue losing games here, which we are doing. Henry Okiharu, we're going to do head coach replaces. Season's in the bin. 28, 49, and 5. All right. 
So let's kind of just see what everyone did this season. Tage Thompson in a losing season still did amazing. 65 points in 78 games played. 50 and 82 for Todd Cousins. 49 in 75. Looking at the AHL. Halton and man up to a 71. 15 goals, 25 assists. Good for him. Let's go back here. How did BUPL do for us? 901 save percentage. He, he did decent for us, man. You, you couldn't ask for more. Okay, now looking at... The entirety of the NHL. Let's do that before we look at anything else. Uh, let's go to the entire league. Let's see who did what. All right. So most goals this year going to Connor McDavid with 54 goals. Line was right behind him with 48. Most points going to Johnny Goudreau. Look at the Columbus Blue Jackets rolling. Good for them. All right. And now it is time to see where we ended up in the NHL. All right. So looking at the points here, we are in dead last wait no that's in the atlantic my bad i thought i was about to get excited we are in dead last tied with the san jose sharks we might come out on top i think we are in dead last no it's saying we're 31 so we came in we came in second last place which i will definitely take not too bad not too bad at all all right so we will take that that's good to see now Playoffs are going to be starting anytime. And that's the NHL season done. So looking at the playoff table, the Ducks are coming up against the Coyotes, the Avs against the Jets, Nashville against St. Louis, Edmonton against Vancouver. Now looking at the East, we got to remember we have Detroit's first round pick. They are playing against the Penguins. So let's go Penguins. The Leafs are playing the Bruins once again. Caps and Flyers and the... Islanders and the Canes, all right? So let's sim the entire playoffs. Uh, I kind of want to go like a couple weeks just to see what Detroit does, okay? So hopefully Detroit is done. I, I, I pray that Detroit is going to lose, all right? So first round series should be almost done. And Detroit won their series. All right, thanks a lot, Pittsburgh, for absolutely nothing. Let's continue going here and see what happens here, all right? Our AHL team is still well and alive. The Leafs finally beat the um, Boston Bruins in the first round. So that's something there. All right. Yep. Best lines for everything here. And we're on to the conference finals. Okay. So let me see. The Leafs are off to the conference finals against the Washington Capitals. Okay. Interesting. And the Avs are playing the anaheim ducks okay so let's keep it going here three one let's go maybe till the saturday here and the stanley cup final is going to be against the toronto maple leafs and the colorado avalanche so let's see how this series goes leafs take game one leafs game leafs take game two leafs take game three are they gonna sweep in the stanley cup final and they do it. The Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champions. Oh my goodness. Let's look at the playoff tree. See how it all went down. So Detroit made it to the second round. So we're going to have a decent little first round pick. The Leafs, man, were just kind of cleaning up. They've only lost three, four, five games in the whole playoffs. That is crazy. So the Leafs ended up taking the Stanley Cup home to Toronto for the first time in ages. Uh, this has not been updated yet. So we will continue simming. Until we get the confirmation. So San Jose won the Calder Cup. The Leafs winning the Stanley Cup. Alright. So we will take a look at all the awards. And the Buffalo Sabres get the first round pick. Oh my god we won the draft lottery. San Jose got moved down to third. So we get the first round pick. That is huge for Buffalo man. That is absolutely huge. Just go view the draft class. We are looking at Kubalik at number one guys. All right, we are looking at Kubalik, A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A, A+, plus, A-. Minus. He's NHL ready. Similar style to Owen Nolan. Heat Seeker, Bouncer, Big Tipper, Shock and on Wheels. That is our first round pick. We were also looking at Baines, who's going to go third overall. Uh, he's NHL ready. Similar style to Sean Monaghan. Um, dude, we're getting Kubalik. Aldrich Kubalik is absolutely huge. Wow, all right, he's NHL ready. He's gonna be good to go once we get him at 18, man. That is crazy. We won the first, we won the draft lottery. That is huge, man. 
That's awesome. Let's view retired players, see who's leaving. Louis Erickson, Valtteri Filpula, Brian Little, Nielsen, Dubinsky, Bocker. Oh, my God, these are throwbacks. Anyone on Buffalo? Highly doubt it. No. Okay, so that is good there. Coach retirements. Uh, Buffalo's not in there, so we don't really care. Uh, players that are retired that are now scouts. Okay. And, yeah, so we're going to continue simming. Like, I mean, we'll look at the draft class one more time. Kubalik's our guy. He is a right wing. He is a power forward, 6'2", 198. Man, he's going to be good for Buffalo, man. Buffalo, we are getting a very, very good player. Next video will be the NHL entry draft. Quickly, we are going to look at the awards to see who won what. So the cup going to the Maple Leafs. President's Trophy going to the Avs. Clarence S. Campbell going to the Avs. Prince of Wales going to the Leafs. Individual rewards. Our Ross going to Johnny Hockey. No surprise there. Hart Memorial going to Johnny Hockey. Uh, Crystal Tangit in the Norris. Lady Bing going to Johnny Hockey. That's three awards for him already. Calder Memorial going to Connor Bedard. Shocker there. William Nylander won the Conn Smythe. That's my best friend right there. Vesna Trophy going to Ilya Shesterkin. Uh, William Jennings going to Kemper. Evan Bouchard gets to Bill Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Gallagher. Good for you, uh, Arizona. The Selkie going to Kopitar, who did not move at the deadline. And uh, the Ted Lindsay going to Goudreau, who has four awards. The Richard going to McDavid. And that is everything, all right? So next video will be the offseason for your Buffalo Sabres. We will be doing the NHL entry draft. We will be doing the re-sign stage. And we will, do, we will be doing free agency. Now, I got a question for you guys. With this first overall pick being ready to go, is next year the year where the Buffalo Sabres are ready for cup contention or playoff contention, or is that another year of rebuilding and letting our prospects grow for one more year? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm interested to see what you guys think. I'm not sure what, what to really do or what to do with this team, what direction I want to take. I think ideally we get our first overall pick. We go to the resign stage. If there are big names in free agency, maybe we go out and get a couple big names and start competing for the playoffs. Because our prospect pool is pretty deep. Alright guys. Like I said that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.